was his name. As a boy, he always knew a sailor he would be, so he studied the law of the sea. Captain of his crew, a brave, ambitious man, determined to explore, he discovered a new land. The sun and sky, and his heart would be his guide, a man of valor and pride. The king and queen, their blessings he obtained to carry the flag of Spain. And rain, a strong, courageous man, determined to explore, he discovered a new land. The sails raised high, he searched the great unknown, his quest for adventure, dispelling any fear. A sure, courageous man, Columbus it was he, who sailed to new horizons across the great blue. Did any others survive the pirate attack? Am I the only one? I didn't deserve to survive. The loss of our ship was all my fault. Do not reproach yourself. Huh? If your life was spared, then you should be grateful. Father Theodore. You've been here ten days now, Christopher. Christopher. Your wounds are healing, yet your heart is still heavy. You feel guilty. But you mustn't blame yourself. There was nothing you could have done to repel the pirate attack. It was by the grace of heaven that you managed to swim ashore and find refuge in our little village of Lagos. We Portuguese are a nation of sailors. We would never refuse hospitality to a shipwrecked mariner. The Lord spared you, Christopher. Be thankful. <laughs> Hungry? Mm -hmm. Good. I'm glad to hear it. <sighs> At last, my son, the pain in your heart is gone. Yes. Thanks to you, Father Theodore, I realize how lucky I am to be alive. Hmm. That's good. And now that your spirits have returned, your body is healing at a better pace. By the end of the week, you'll have recovered completely. And once you're better, I'll help you find a posting aboard a vessel bound for Genoa. That is, if you still want to go home. Oh, I do, Father. But I don't need your help. I'm well enough to look after myself. <coughs> well, maybe I could use just a little help. <laughs> But, Father, where should I go to find a ship bound for Genoa? Do you know whether there's a port town in this region? 
Oh, yes. Just west of here, within a day's walk, lies the port of Sagres. Sagres? Yes. That was the home port for ships that sailed under the flag of Prince Henry the Navigator. I've never heard of him. <laughs> That's understandable. Henry the Navigator was a little before your time. Who was he? He was the third son of Portugal's King John, and in his blood burned a passion for sea exploration. He sponsored many voyages down the western coast of Africa. On the open Atlantic? Mm-hmm. He believed that Portugal's future depended on growing trade with the Indies, and he knew that the Mediterranean trade routes were vulnerable to attack from the lands of the Near East. So he sent ships out into the open ocean to find alternative trade routes, to chart the unknown waters of the south, and to claim new lands for Portugal. Father Theodore, a young man has arrived. He says he heard Christopher Columbus was here. He asked to see him. To see me? Hmm. Roberto! Roberto, is it really you? <laughs> Christopher! Oh oh, oh! oh! Well, thank heavens you're safe and sound. Yes, I was lucky. I guess we both were. <laughs> I managed to swim ashore after the pirates sank our ship, and a family of villagers took me in. When I discovered who was staying here at the monastery, I came right up. Oh, Christopher, I've never been so happy to see anyone in my whole life. Christopher, I've sent word to the shipping agent in Sagres that you two need a ship. Bound for Genoa. Excellent. Father Theodore, I don't know how to thank you for all the help you've given me. You healed me and restored my spirit. How can I ever repay you, Father? Live the life of a good Christian and an honest man. That's repayment enough. Goodbye, Father Theodore. Safe voyage home. May the blessings of the Lord be upon you both. Let's see what Father Theodore packed us for lunch. Aha! Uh -huh, a gourd full of fresh, cool water. Just what I need to wet my whistle. Yes, indeed. Well, here's to Father Theodore. <laughs> you have some lunch if you want, Roberto, but I can't bring myself to eat. All I can think of is sailing on the open ocean again. Huh? But, Christopher, what could possibly make you want to sail on the open ocean? After what our ship went through out there? I'll stick to the Mediterranean from now on. <laughs> Not me. Only an ocean's big enough for me. Roberto! <laughs> We've made it to the port of Sagres! This is the place Father Theodore told me about. When Henry the Navigator's ship sailed on their voyages of exploration and adventure, it was from these waters that they set off. Wow! Oh, isn't it beautiful? You know, Father Theodore told me that... Huh? Roberto! Where are you? Down here! Huh? If you don't stop flapping your lips and start moving your legs, we'll never reach Sagres. Come on! Oh, hey! Slow down there! <laughs>
I want a closer look. Hey! <laughs> Even on land, he'd rather be aboard a ship. Roberto! Roberto! Huh? This is a strange caravel. Her belaying pins are set for square rigging. So what, Christopher? Don't you find that interesting? Fascinating. Christopher, are you coming? Hmm? I'll just be a few more minutes, Roberto. Let's go, Christopher. Huh? But we can't leave yet. We haven't guessed why this caravel was square rigged. What's the difference? Are you really that interested in this washed up hulk? Yes, I am. Why, just look at her. In her day, this ship must have been a beauty. Huh? Oh. I've had enough of watching you moon over this old wreck. I'll go on ahead and meet the shipping agent. Hmm, you do that. I want to have a last look around. I'll join you there in a little while. Mm hmm. Hmm. She's sleek. Must have been a fast vessel. Get on there! Huh? This is my ship, you hear? Huh? And I know what to do with stowaways! my ship why i ought to have you arrested arrested now hold on all i was doing was admiring your ship sir she's beautiful huh? think she's beautiful do you and how would you know i want to have a closer look at you mm -hmm. oh you're a boy huh. go on how dare you mock an old sailor but i was serious i really do think this ship is beautiful wait before I go, may I ask a question? A question? This ship has a caravel's hull, but her belaying pins are set for square rigging. That, that doesn't make any sense. A caravel should carry lateen sails. Not if she's a caravella redonda. Redonda? I've never heard that name before. Well, thanks anyway, sir. I bid you good day. No, wait. <clears throat> Can't have you running off without knowing where the caravella redonda is. <laughs> oh, what a ship. With her mainsail full as she went down the African coast, she was quite a sight. Huh? The African coast? Hmm. <laughs> yes, young man, that's why she was square-rigged. So she could run before the wind faster than any ordinary caravel. She was the fleetest ship to fly Prince Henry's flag. She was a caravella redonda. Like other ships of her kind, she had square-rigged fore and mainsails for extra speed when the wind was at her back. You were? Then I owe you an apology for coming aboard without your consent. <laughs> Think nothing of it. After all, I'm no captain now. It's true I get angry when the boys at the town play silly games on my ship, but a respectful young man like you is always welcome to look around. I only hope you'll forgive her present sorry condition, for she was once the pride of Henry the Navigator. Mm -hmm. huh? <laughs> Tell me, are you a sailor yourself? Uh, yes, I... Christopher! Huh? I couldn't find the shipping agent. You're looking for the shipping agent? Yes, we are. Well, you've found him. That's been my trade since I retired from the sea. My name is Ricci, Alfonso Ricci. <laughs> and my name is Christopher Columbus. Ah, we're expecting you. Yes, Father Theodore says... Christopher, where are you? Excuse me. Roberto? About that shipping agent... I went to his office, Christopher, but he wasn't there, which is probably just as well, because his clerk told me he's an insufferable, short-tempered old salt. Apparently, he spends all his free time right here. He's bald with a big nose and a... Huh? A long white beard? A long white beard like this one? Uh, something like that. Roberto, Signor Ricci. <sighs> Pleased to make your acquaintance, Roberto. Uh -huh.
Well, Christopher, my schedule shows a merchant ship leaving for Marseille very soon. I'm sure her captain will be glad to take you and Roberto. And once you've landed in Marseille, you'll have no trouble finding a ship to take you the rest of the way to Genoa. Oh, did you hear that, Christopher? We're on our way home at last. Feeling a little homesick, Roberto? Yes, I miss Genoa terribly. You see, I have a sweetheart there. Teresa is her name. She's the prettiest girl in the world. Huh. How touching. Mm -hmm. And what are you looking at? Your sea chart. Uh-huh. And do you like what you see there? It's amazing. I never realized how much of Africa's coast has been charted. Is this the work of Portuguese explorers? Of course. And I was one of those explorers, young man. But then, you're just a pair of homesick pups on your way back to Genoa. What do you care about Africa? <laughs> I won't bore you with tales of my exploits on the open ocean. But we're not bored. What was it like to be an explorer? You really want to know? Yes. Well, in that case, I suppose I can tell you. If a man loved adventure, then being an explorer was wonderful. <laughs> Oh, it was a hard life, to be sure. The ships were cramped, the voyages long, and yet, whenever I was back in port, all I thought of, dreamed of, was to be back at sea again, sailing into the unknown. Oh. In those days, of course, Sagres was a much busier place than it is now. There were often several ships being built at a time in the town's bustling shipyard. And every week, it seemed, a new expedition set off to explore the unknown reaches of the ocean under the flag of Henry the Navigator. The Atlantic was our proving ground. It was our friend, our home, our life. Portugal established an island base in Madeira and another one further west in the Azores. After taking aboard fresh supplies at those bases, our ships pressed on, following the contour of the African continent south and then east in their search for a new trade route to the Orient. Will that route ever be found? Mm -hmm. I know it will, and he who finds it will win glory. <laughs> well, I don't know about glory, but he's certain to find trouble. Why, everyone knows the ocean is full of sea monsters. <laughs> 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 huh? Sea monsters? I never heard such nonsense in my life. Genuine sailors are supposed to be courageous, not to spout bilge water. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. All he means is the ocean can be dangerous. Yes, that it can. But a wise captain knows how to overcome the danger and guide his ship through thick and thin. Oh, to be young again and sail the Atlantic myself. <sighs> Sir? Yes? If a sailor wanted to learn some more about the Atlantic, could he learn it here? No, I'm afraid not, Christopher. Sagres has become a sleepy little backwater. Backwater? But this was the home port of Henry the Navigator. Is there nothing left? There is one thing. <laughs> I am still here. <gasps> Bulkheads are solid, but there's a little water in the hole. I'm old now, but I still remember the day I arrived here from Genoa. Huh? Hmm? From Genoa? Yes, that is where I was born. You're Genoese too? Mm-hmm. I came here when I was still a young man. I longed for adventure, but the Mediterranean held no more mystery for me. And so, I came here to Sagres to embark on voyages of discovery upon the open Atlantic. Hmm, that's right, Christopher. To reach the very limit of the known world, and then to go beyond. I share that dream. And I will fulfill it. Sir, the merchant ship leaves for Marseille on the morning tide tomorrow. <coughs> Hooray! What? <laughs> 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 At last, we're on our way home, Christopher. Yes, you're both on your way home. Soon you'll be sailing the old familiar waters of the Mediterranean. No need to fear sea monsters there. <sighs> Come on, let's put you aboard. Oh. Hmm? Oh. Hmm. What's the holdup? If I can't learn about the Atlantic in Sagres, then I guess Lisbon is where I should go. 
Yes, that's right. <laughs> Lisbon is the capital of Portugal. There you'll find the charts you need to learn all that's known about the ocean. Then it's settled. I'm going to Lisbon. Do you think you can find a ship that will take me there? Hmm. Hmm. Well, wait a second. <laughs> Coastal traders make the trip all the time. They'll jump at the chance to have a Genoese sailor aboard. <laughs> With luck, we'll find you a ship bound for Lisbon in a day or two. Thank you very much, sir. But... But Christopher... Roberto, my friend, we've been through a lot together, haven't we? Yes, and now it's time to go home. Home to Genoa. You go. Your sweetheart is waiting, but I must travel to Lisbon to fulfill my dream. My dream of sailing the Atlantic.